This month on Students in the Super, Dr. Spray visits Southport Middle School, 8th graders, and Mrs. Blackwell's Project Lead the Way class, where they're dissecting brains, sheep brains to be exact. Hello, I'm Dr. Patrick Spray, Superintendent of Perry Township Schools, and today we're here at Southport Middle School, and we're going to go into this Project Lead the Way class with Mrs. Blackwell, and we're going to do some really cool stuff. I would like to introduce the class to our special guest for today. Dr. Spray, thank you, Dr. Spray. Hey, good afternoon, good afternoon. All right, so you and your partners choose who's going to be the neuroanatomist. That person's going to complete the external dissection and wipe down the table. The neurosurgeon, they're going to complete the internal di um, dissection, throw the brain away, and put the trained scalpel in the sink. And the neuroscience nurse, they're going to read direction and place flags on the front table. All right, so here we go. The external dissection top view. Number one, it says make the observations on your response sheet about the external features of the brain. Notice, here it says, you are making observations about what it looks like. Typing that on your document. What does it feel like? So this is you, you're going to touch and see what it feels like. Is it heavy? You're going to pick it up. Feel if it's heavy, what you think. And then any additional observations that you have. It's like a little, little, little intestines kind of thing through there, the different lobes of the brain. Uh, the structure connected to the brain stem is the cerebrum. I cannot say that word. And will appear. Cerebellum. And will appear as a density folded structure located at the base of the brain. Use the flag to label the cerebellum. I'm just kind of stabbing this brain. I feel kind of bad. You say rotting from the right lung or backward lungs. Chicken. I cannot spell chicken right. Now, olfactory bulb, what do you think that controls? So it's scent. And it's yeah, there you go. The brain is symmetrical down that line. It's going to be close enough because I don't think You're I can good. make it right. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Imagine we have lunch after this. Oh, but if we did, I would not eat. Frontal, parietal, and occipital. Could you grab those two? Frontal, both sides? Uh, it just says left. Okay. <laughs> occipital and parietal. Yes. Can you help with that? You got it? It's all the fiber. That's very fibrous right there. There we go. All right. Again. That's the left, right? Yeah, that's the left. Right here. It, that looks like a tree. That looks more like lettuce. I don't know why you think everything looks like cauliflower. No, right. oh, you know she likes cauliflower. <laughs> I love. Have you had buffalo cauliflower before? No, seven. Delicious. This one is balance and coordination. Yeah. Let me see your, your thalamus. Isn't it? So you did a fabulous job. So you can actually see the different tissue with the thalamus mm -hmm. from around it. So well done, kids. Well done. Well done. They did it. I did not. <laughs> so what do you think the dissection did for your, your learning? Maybe just picking through it on the paper or, or doing it on your... Um, it's more like a hands-on experience of like where everything is. Kind of drives home that separation. Mm -hmm. I think it was like important for us to do this because although like we learned about it, this is kind of like a test for us like, mm -hmm. to really see if we know where everything is. I think this is teaching us where everything is and it's more of a visual, you know, experience to do it ourselves. Was it easier or harder to locate everything? Here than it would have been from the picture. It's a lot harder. No, it's a lot harder because on the pictures they co they always color it, so it's, mm. you can always differentiate the different sections. And on this, you really can't. You just gotta eyeball it. You thought it was easier. Yeah, from the photos, like yeah, photos. That one. Is just but as you look at, it, I mean, it is kind of cool. Where I mean, they're very much very very different sections. I'm I'm gonna pull these out because that is the end of the assignment apparently. I'd like to thank Ava and Carly in the medical detectives class today and Mrs. Blackwell's class for doing such a great job in showing me the dissection of the sheep's brain. Just kind of did a tour of the brain today, so really appreciate this opportunity to come into their class, and also appreciate the, that you guys have this opportunity in your in your classes to get hands on with your learning. So, did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. All right, wasn't so bad hanging out with me. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. All right. That's it for this month's students in the super. Join us next month when Dr. Spray visits kids at JWR, where they'll be building both trinkets and confidence. See you then.